Well, I just got finished watching your video, and uh, to tell you the truth, I was slightly disgusted by the way you took a lot of things out of context. Um, firstly, I don't think anyone has to accept Jesus as God, or at least that's not the only way to be saved. Otherwise, everyone except for Christians would be damned to hell. I think as long as you live a Christ-like life, um, feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, doing as Jesus would do, um, helping others, making this world a better place or love, uh, you'll be saved. I mean, God doesn't expect everyone to follow the same religion. That'd be ridiculous since people are brought up in different countries, with different cultures and customs. Um, there's no way people could just agree on one thing. Um, the other thing is you say that Muslims deny the existence of Jesus. Muslims don't deny the existence of Jesus. Um, in fact, they detail his life in the Quran. They just don't view him as the son of God. Um, of course, uh, Christianity denies other religions. You say that Christianity and Judaism don't deny other religions. Um, the first commandment in itself call, calls all other uh, religions like fake, in, um, in essence. Uh, and quite frankly, the Jews are very ethnocentric throughout the Bible. They claim they're God's chosen people, and they uh, detail how God leads them into battle against all the bad guys, which is essentially everyone who comes within their uh, within their reach. I mean, you have them vilifying the Philistines, who are now the Palestinians, so not much has changed. Um, and also, God didn't write the Gospels. I mean, you can say that they're divinely inspired or whatnot, but, I mean, there is this uh, part of your video where you're talking about God um, talking out of the sky after Jesus' baptism. And you say, oh, it's doc documented here, there, and everywhere. But, I mean, in essence, it's only documented in the Gospels. I mean, you need some other source besides that to justify what you're saying. And then you go on to say that the Bible's better than the Quran because it's older. I mean, there are so many writings that are older that have no factual basis. They're merely myths, such as like the Epic of Gilgamesh or the Book of the Dead from the Egyptians, or Roman and Greek mythology. I mean, just because they're older doesn't mean they're literally true. And, I mean, it doesn't give them more clout than something that's fairly new. Um, also, Muhammad claims that he is spreading the Word of God, so just because you say that you're spreading the Word of God doesn't mean what Muhammad said isn't just as good as what you said. Um, I mean, just because he made the video doesn't make what you say more important. And then you go on to show like a girl, a Palestinian girl who's upset with Israel. I mean, if you've any, if you've ever been to Israel, you'll see how hard the Israelis make the lives of the Palestinians. I mean, they've built a wall that forces Palestinians to walk miles around it just to get to the other side. I mean, they do every little thing they can to make the Palestinians have a hard life. Just, I mean, to be a jerk. I mean, you can't just take such things out of context. Plus, just because that girl's parents gave her some tainted idea doesn't mean that all Palestinians are wanting to kill Jews. And uh, there's a lot of Christians who hate Muslims in this world. There are a lot of Muslims that hate Christians in the world. But you portray Muslims as totally just being hateful and you stereotype them all. And then you go on to say something about having 777 on the forehead. I mean, I'm a Catholic which makes me a Christian, and I don't have 777 on my forehead. I have no idea what you're going with, the numbers and this and that. You take everything way too literally. And then you go on to talk about how Islam is forcing everyone to convert, and it's such a, like, it's, it just forces everyone to do this and that. But, I mean, if you look at the world today, the only reason Christianity is the biggest religion in the world is because it's the most forced religion in the world. I mean, think of one country besides Israel that hasn't had Christianity forced on it. I mean, there is none. The Romans used Christianity as a way to unite their people while their kingdom or uh, empire was falling apart, and it spread into Europe, um, partly due to them. And from that, the Europeans just took it everywhere. I mean, the Spaniards forced it on the Mexicans and the South Americans, Central Americans. The Portuguese forced it on um, people in Africa, so did the Dutch and the English. The English force it on Chinese and on uh, Indians when they went to India. French force it on the Vietnamese. Spanish force it on the Filipinos. I mean, it's been forced everywhere. and I don't think anyone's just 
encountered Christianity and been willing to change everything they've known all their lives, just saying, oh, wow, everything I've done thus far is terrible. I should just convert to Christianity. I mean, people were tortured and forced to convert, and that's why their ans or their descendants today are such diehard Christians. They fail to realize that their ancestors were forced to convert to Christianity. And, and then you go on to talk about how... I mean, Muslims are promoting beheading and this and that. I mean, like my previous example, there's plenty of times where Christians have killed other people in the name of God. I mean, the Crusades and colonization all over the place. I mean, even in America with the Native Americans. And uh, you also bring up really stupid points like the Muslims having their own calendar. I mean, who cares if they have their own calendar? How's that threatening our way of life and how they're forcing their laws on us? I mean, yeah, sure, they want to spread the Sharia law, and I don't really agree with that, but last time I checked, America invaded Iraq, and we're trying to force our laws on them. And you talk about Muslims buying companies and choosing not to sell to us. Number one, that's not even true. And number two, who cares if they don't want to sell to us? That's their discretion. If you, don't, if you want them to sell to us, you buy the damn company. I mean, just because they buy the company doesn't mean that they have to follow whatever you want to do. I mean, and like I said, it's not even true. I mean, how do you think we get our oil? We're trading with Muslims. And you also talk about Muslims bragging about their religion being the fastest growing. I've never heard a Muslim brag about his religion, his or her religion being the fastest growing. I mean, it might very well be, but you just totally made up that idea that they're going around bragging that they're the fastest growing religion. And I don't know, in... in summary basically you just tell i mean even though you try to have or give it the appearance that you're having a pretty open approach to it i mean at the end you just tell muslims oh my god you're going the wrong way when you think that they're trying to tell you oh you're following the wrong way i mean essentially um there 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 are muslims that advocate violence or Christians that advocate violence. I mean, you have the KKK evangelicals who say, oh, convert to Christianity, you're going to hell, and this and that. And I mean, sure, there's people overseas who want to blow us up and this and that, and you show that in the cartoons. I mean, but that doesn't mean that they represent all Christians or all Muslims. And basically, I think as long as someone lives a good life, that's all that God can ask. I mean, take, for example, if you were to be born into a Muslim family and you were raised Muslim, and then when you're 30, someone comes up to you and tries to convert you to Christianity, do you think you'd just convert because someone told you that what you had been doing your whole life was wrong? I doubt it. I mean, how can you condemn that innocent person who's done nothing wrong but follow a religion that you feel isn't right? I mean, why would God look down upon them? They didn't choose to be raised that way. That's how they were raised, and that's all they've known their whole life. They can't possibly be expected to just convert as soon as someone comes up to them and says, oh, everything you've known your whole life is wrong. So basically in the end, I mean, even being a Christian, what does it mean to be a Christian? To follow what Christ's example, basically. So technically, you don't even really have to be a Christian by title to be a Christian. As long as you follow Jesus' example of being a good person and spreading love around this world and leaving the world a better place than when uh, you came into it you're essentially doing the will of god anyways those are my thoughts don't have to agree with it and call me an idiot and swear at me and post that on my video i uh welcome all comments but uh just wanted to say that thanks